In today's video, we are going to explore the Baluchi word Sarmachar and a little background into this unique Baluchi word. Sarmachar is a combination of two words, Sar meaning head and Machar meaning don't look, don't care or don't mind. So the combination of Sarmachar would translate to the one that doesn't mind sacrificing his head for a cause. The Kurdish have Pishmerga meaning face death and the Baluch have their Sarmachars. If we are going to talk about Sarmachars then we must talk about the Baluchistan history. Let me summarize. This is one of the original map of Baluchistan. In fact Baluchistan was an independent country once with a long history going back to the time of Alexander the Great. Now in this map we see a divided Baluchistan. During the period of the Great Game, Baluchistan was divided into three parts. One part was controlled by Iran, another part by Afghanistan and after the creation of Pakistan in 1947, the Eastern Baluchistan was annexed into Pakistan. So this is the current Baluchistan. In Western Baluchistan, the fight is mostly on religious ground because Iran is majority Shia and Baluch are Sunni. Since this video is about Sarmachar, we are going to focus on Eastern Baluchistan where the Sarmachar has been battling since the creation of Pakistan. What do Sarmachars fight for? Sarmachars would consider themselves as Baluch nationalists. They fight for free Baluchistan and ending the exploitation of Baluch land and Baluch people. After all, Baluchistan is a resource rich region and very strategic location wise. Imagine you live on a gold mine but you are starving because your resources are being diverted to other regions. You have natural gas but you have to rely on woods for cooking and heating. This is the situation. Nobody talks about Baluchistan because Baluchistan is a no-go region for international media. This is an area that does not grab headlines on a regular basis. Right. Why not? It's very difficult to get there. Um, Pakistan has not been a definitely friendly place for journalists for a long time, especially if you're digging into the relationship between the government, between their spy agencies, the military and Islamic militants. And this area of Baluchistan is almost entirely off limits to foreign reporters. So it's very difficult to get news out of there. They don't want the wider world knowing there is this conflict going on where these people are struggling for their own sense of national identity because that is an embarrassment to Pakistan and they feel that by getting oxygen to these rebels, there's a picture of them behind you, people are going to say, oh, wait a minute, maybe they've got a good point. So it's very difficult to get in there as a reporter. Journalists are forbidden to go to Baluchistan because Pakistan doesn't want any international coverage on the Baluch genocide taking place there and there's also the issue of missing persons carried out by Pakistani security forces. The situation is so bad that everyone in Baluchistan knows someone who's missing. The only time international media talks about Baluchistan is when Sarmachars carry out an attack like the attack that took place on the Chinese consulate in Karachi. You might be wondering, why would Sarmachars target Chinese? We will get to that part, but first, who are the Sarmachars? There are various nationalist groups fighting for Baluchistan. BLA, short for Baluchistan Liberation Army, is the most well known amongst them. However, there are many other nationalist groups collaborating with one another. Since they are very secretive and it is very hard to know everything, I am only going to focus on the key legendary senior commanders. We have Aslam Baluch, Mir Abdul Nabi Bangul Zahi, Golzar Imam and Dr. Allah Nazar. Now imagine the situation in Baluchistan as a chessboard. You have your pieces in play. On one side you have the Sarmachars and on the other side you have Pakistan. The game is heading towards a stalemate but the arrival of Chinese on Pakistani side courtesy of TPEC changes the board completely. China has its own interest and see Balochistan as a perfect opportunity for its future ambition. 
The Chinese and Pakistani alliance is destined to win in this game of chess. On the side of Sarmachas, however, they recognize how uneven the battlefield is, especially with their tactic of guerrilla warfare. The odds are against them and the only way to win now is to play without rules. And that's where the Fadain comes into play. Fadain is an Arabic word meaning the sacrifice. The Fadain branch of BLA was introduced by Commander Aslam Baluch around August 2018 when his son Rehan Baluch carried out a suicide attack on a bus carrying Chinese engineers in Baluchistan. This is a tactic that has never been carried out by Sarmachars before. Commander Aslam Baluch insisted there will be more of such attacks and two months later in November 23rd the Fadain striked again and this time the Chinese consulate in Karachi. Baluchis are sacrificing their lives for the defense of Baluch motherland because China along with occupied Pakistan is not only primary Baluch resources but it is also using Baluch land particularly Wadar and other coastal areas to further its even military design. This has turned Baluch land to into oil for its own natives. If the demands for freedom and justice to meet with death, then the Baluch youth have all the right to choose a death of their own choice. The usage of Fadain on Sarmachar sides means they are using the pawn pieces as queens. Now this is a game without rules and the moves from the Sarmachar side are very unpredictable. Pakistan recognized the significant danger posed by Fedain, particularly the ringleader Aslam Baluch. After identifying his location in Kandahar on Christmas Day 2018, an explosive attack was carried out, killing Aslam Baluch and his comrades. The death of Aslam Baluch further intensified the Baluch nationalist movement and for them Aslam Baluch became a symbol. Also, the ever-growing list of missing persons in Baluchistan is creating a new generation of uh, Fadain filled with hatred and nationalism. Only time can tell us the outcome.